Hi everyone, I'm Ravi Handa, founder of the website handagafanda.com. Welcome to another SALT example on data interpretation. The Ministry of Home Affairs is analyzing crimes committed by foreigners in different states and union territories of India. All cases refer to the ones registered against foreigners in 2016. The number of cases are classified into three categories, IPC, SLL and other crimes. For the nine states and union territories are shown in the figure below. These nine belong to the top 10 states slash union territories in terms of the total number of cases registered. So Delhi is essentially the biggest with I think 142 or 143. The remaining state among top 10 is West Bengal where all 520 cases registered were SLL. So basically West Bengal is my overall rank 1. Why? Because it has 520 cases of SLL whereas IPC as well as others are 0 in West Bengal but still the total number is 520 the total number for Delhi is 142 so definitely West Bengal wins and now we are given table what does the table do the table shows the rank of the 10 states mentioned above among all states of India in terms of the number of cases registered in the three categories of crimes. A state is given rank R for a category of crimes if there are R minus 1 states having a larger number of cases registered in that category of crime. So for example, if two states have the same number of cases, then we look at how many are above it. If there are three states above it, then both of them will be given rank 4. Say for example, in IPC, uh, let's see Karnataka and Maharashtra both are at 3 3 so what does this mean this means that there will be two which will be above it in the IPC category which two will figure that out let's check so in IPC category uh, West Bengal has zero so let's ignore that Delhi looks the biggest in the IPC category at around 65 odd and after Delhi I believe it is Goa which is at around 27 28 so Delhi is rank 1, Goa is rank 2 and then we have Karnataka as well as Maharashtra on 3-3. Three, three. Are they equal? Well yes, so both Karnataka and Maharashtra from what it looks like both of them are around 15. Please note, we don't need exact numbers, we just need the ranks. So if 1 is Delhi, 2 is Goa, 3 and 3 are Karnataka and Maharashtra, the next one will not be rank 4. The next one will be rank 5. Why will it be rank 5? Because there are 4 states which are above it. Which one will that be? I, I think Kerala is the one which is missing. Let's check. So Kerala is at 7, 8. Now it might be hard to say that only at 7 cases or 8 cases will it be national rank 5. I don't know for sure. But I notice another thing. Telangana has maybe 3 or 4 cases and Telangana has rank 6. So Telangana, if 4 cases is rank 6, Kerala has to be above Telangana because Kerala had 7-8 cases, which means Kerala has to be rank 5. So we have figured out all the rankings in IPC crimes. Let's see if we can do that for SLL also. SLL very clearly rank 1 is West Bengal because West Bengal had 520. It was the biggest uh, crime. In West Bengal, it was the biggest crime in India because no one else has 520 or even close to it. Who is number 2? 2 is Karnataka. Then we have Goa at 4. Then this is missing. Maybe this is 3 because I have 2, I have 4. Let me check the data for Delhi. In SLL, Delhi is around a little more than 30, I would say 32 or something like that. And in SLL, so Karnataka was a lot bigger than that. Goa is also around 32 33 maharashtra is also around 32 33 so maybe all three of them are tied let's check see maharashtra is at four goa is at four that means i need three people which are distinctively above them the three people which are distinctly above them is west bengal is rank one karnataka is rank two someone needs to be very clearly above them which means SLL Delhi will be 3. Now let's look at other crimes. Well, in other crimes, very clearly, 
this is Delhi is the biggest. So Delhi comes out as rank one. And then I think Tamil Nadu, which is also again 30-ish, a little more than 10, 20, 30, maybe around 35-ish. So Tamil Nadu is rank two. Where is Tamil Nadu? Tamil Nadu is two. Then we have 10, 20, 30. Puducherry is 31. So Puducherry will be around three. Then I believe maybe Karnataka comes at 4, so Karnataka is 26, a little above 20 and Goa is a little below 20, so 4 is Karnataka, a little below that is 5, then I have 6 and 7 for Haryana and I believe Kerala, let's see Haryana and Kerala, so Haryana is very very small, Kerala is bigger, Kerala is bigger, so let me make Kerala as 6, Haryana as 7. So these are my rankings. I have filled up the entire table. Let's have a look at the questions. Now, question 1. What is the rank of Kerala in the IPC crimes category? Well, Kerala in IPC crimes is 5. We have already found that out. In the two states where the highest total number of cases are registered, that means West Bengal and Delhi, West Bengal was rank 1 with 520. The ratio of the total number of cases in IPC crimes to the total number in SLL crimes. Well, I don't know what the split was in Delhi, but I know that West Bengal was 520. In Delhi, whatever is the split, Delhi was a very small number. And all of these were SLL. So whatever is the value of SLL, that has to be significantly greater than IPC. No need to calculate. This doesn't fit. Here it is saying that SLL is lesser. Here it is saying SLL is marginally bigger. Here it is saying that SLL is lesser. The only one where SLL is significantly more than the IPC cases is the first option. So that has to be the answer. If you want to calculate, you can do that. Let's check the split for Delhi. Well, in Delhi, this is around maybe 63 so this is 63 and then we have 10, 20, 30, maybe 32 or 33 here. So we have 32, 33 in SLL and 65 or 63 in the IPC category, which means my overall ratio will be 63 for IPC and SLL will be 553, 520 plus 33, which you can see is roughly 1 is to 9. Once again, there was no need to calculate all of this. You could have just seen that West Bengal with 520 SLL cases will mean that SLL crimes are a lot more than IPC. So clearly first would be the answer. Which of the following is definitely true in the other crimes category? It says Tamil Nadu is 2, Puducherry is 3. I think both of them are right. Tamil Nadu is indeed 2, Puducherry is indeed 3. That's what we had found out. So 1 is correct, 2 is correct, both 1 and 2 are correct, making option 2 as my answer here. What is the sum of the ranks of Delhi in the three categories? Well, we found it out as 1, 3 and 1. So my total sum will be 1 plus 3 plus 1 or 5. Very simple, straightforward question should have been attempted in the exam. And here is something else that I like to tell you as far as DI is concerned. If you see a question which has so much theory, then a pie chart or a bar graph or some complicated graph, then you have more theory, then you have another table. When you have so much data, trust me, the questions are obviously going to be easier because a lot of time and effort would be spent in just interpreting that data. So you won't have to think too much to find out the answers. Such sort of questions can be a little time consuming to understand initially, but should definitely be attempted the exam thank you please remember to subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get notifications of future videos